Hello, my beautiful starseed child. I wanted to make this very quick video to remind you of something, especially now where I know that you may be going through a tough time, that it may seem like you are not really living the life that you want to live, that you're not making progress. You may feel a little abandoned. You may feel that the world is really going downhill, but I want to remind you of something. I want to remind you, my beautiful child of the stars, that you are infinitely loved. You are infinitely loved. You are not alone. And why am I saying that? I'm saying that because you are an eternal being, an eternal soul that so courageously and bravely decided to jump down into this human body in this time right now that we are living in this very time. And the one reason that each and every one of you, you who I'm talking to, no matter who you are, the primary reason that you decided to come down here is to bring your precious light down to earth to help the ascension process to help bring light into Mother Gaia, to help raise the vibration of the planet, to do your work, to be of service. And I know this, each and every one of you came down here primarily for that reason. And that is why you have a team of spirit guides and angels, your starseed family, who are supporting you from above. They're supporting you, they love you, you are not alone. We knew that when we came down here, when we jumped down into this incarnation, we knew that we would forget everything. You know, the birth amnesia, the great forgetting. We knew what we were getting ourselves into. But sometimes um, we choose very hard lessons. And I just wanted to let you know that you are appreciated. You are loved. You are honored by so many, by your entire team of angels and guides and by your starseed family, like I said. So if you are feeling a little lost, if you're feeling rejected, if you're feeling unloved, if you're feeling like, like nothing is working for you, don't give up. Remember who you are. Remember why you came. Remember that your presence on the planet is making a huge difference just by breathing just by walking around, <laughs> just by being you, just by not giving up and shining your light. You're doing a huge service to Mother Gaia, to humanity, to all of us beings of light who want this planet to rise. We want this planet to rise. And you came here for this purpose. And that's what I wanted to remind you of today. So if you're not feeling so good, remember your presence is a gift to this earth. Your light is helping to uphold the vibration of the planet. Yes, it's true. If it weren't for you, the vibration would be lower. The planet would be sinking. <laughs> We'd be going down a little further. So for you to incarnate, incarnate here so courageously is, is a gift. It's a gift. And I just wanted to remind you of that. So today be proud hold your head high in the knowledge that you are a powerful being of light and you're emitting the light. I can see this. I see things. When I look at every single one of you who's watching this video right now, I'm doing like a psychic projection, right? <laughs> I'm seeing a circle of such beautiful shining stars and each one of those stars is you. Each one of you represents one of those stars that is shining and seriously raising up that vibration of this planet, making us lighter, bringing the light in, attracting the light from the heavens and pushing it outward, even without doing anything, just by breathing. I see that. So you are precious, you are appreciated, you are loved infinitely, you are celebrated. And I want to thank you. I personally want to thank you for your service, for being here and for just not giving up, for moving forward, for 
taking another breath, for waking up another morning and shining your light once more. So I wanted to remind you of that. And if you, if you have doubts, I know sometimes it seems like our spirit guides are far away. It seems like the heavens are far away. It seems like our starseed family has abandoned us. Sometimes it seems like that. But those are often just very negative cycles that we get ourselves into. So if you just take a moment to integrate this message into your heart and ask, is it true? Is it true? Am I loved? Am I a being of light? Think about it for a moment. And I promise you the answer will be yes. And then if you tune in a little more, just tune into your heart a little more, then you can start to feel that love. You can start to feel that light. You can start to feel the presence of your own soul emanating, shining out, filling you up, filling up all those spaces that may seem a little empty or a little pressed down, a little pushed down, a little silenced. <laughs> Our soul sometimes is silenced a little bit by what's going on in the world, right? By all those voices. But no, the thing is this, you have to get really still. You have to retreat a little bit from all those voices, from all that craziness. You just have to find a space like this. I'm right now in the mountains. This is the view. I'm on a trampoline. <laughs> See, this is kind of fun. I didn't want to be bouncing around in front of the camera, <laughs> but <laughs> this is where I am. And finding a place in nature, finding a place where you can really <sighs> come down and find your inner stillness, that helps, that really helps to connect back to your heart again, to listen to your heart again. And once you connect to your heart, you automatically connect up to the heavens, to your spirit guides, to your angels, to the Arcturians, to the Pleiadians, to the unicorns, to the dragons, because they are accessed from your heart. It's all about the heart. So tune into your heart a little bit. Ask yourself, hmm, am I loved? Am I truly this eternal soul that Natasha always says I am? Am I truly a precious being of light? that is valuable to this earth. Ask yourself that. And I know what the answer is gonna be and it's gonna make you feel so much better. And it's gonna help you connect once more to <laughs> those heavenly teams of light that are around you at all times. I promise you they are. But it's up to you to make contact. It's up, up to you to Find stillness is up to you to pierce the veil, to pierce that heavy 3D matrix. So if you're constantly running around in that 3D matrix, if you're constantly letting yourself be inundated, bombarded with the agendas, then how can any angel get through to you? How is that possible? You know, since I've been here in Africa, um, we haven't turned on the TV once. We, we don't like TV. I don't like TV anyways. I haven't heard the news. I haven't really, I've completely disconnected and I am feeling so good. I'm feeling calm. I'm coming back to myself and I'm creating that space to let my team of angels and guides in even more strongly so that I can feel that I am loved and supported. Okay, so a little reminder for you I love you so much, my beautiful starseed soul. Don't give up. You're not alone. There's many of us here. You are seen. You are understood. You are loved. Remember that, okay? Okay. The view. I will be back soon. Ciao for now.